Hey everyone, um, I'm sure everyone's having a great time practicing while you're home. Um, I know some of you are a little anxious because your violins or violas have gone out of tune. So today I'm just going to go over some basics of tuning your instrument. This goes for violin, viola, cello, and bass. Uh, first thing you need to know is that I use the app Cadenza. Those of you who are in my class have seen me use it. Uh, if you don't have iTunes or if you don't have an Apple product, you probably want to get a free online tuner, but any any tuner on your Android or Apple store will work. So next thing you need to do, you need to know your string names. So on violin, we're tuning from skinny to fat, E, A, D, G. And if it's viola or cello and you're going from skinny to fat, it's going to be all dogs, get cats, A, D, G, C. And if you play the bass, it's actually the opposite of violin. So violin skinny string is E, bass is fat string is E, so it will be E, A, D, G. Next thing, when you're tuning, you want to use nice even bow pressure. So. Your up bow and your down bow should sound the same when you're tuning. So here we go. You need to know that I'm going to be using my pegs because I only have a fine tuner on my E string. This is a lot safer if you're using your fine tuners. If you're not used to tuning with your pegs and you have fine tuners, please use your fine tuners. You're less likely to break a string. So here we go. So here's my A string. I always start with A. And you can see that my A string is about 10 cents flat. So I'm going to go even flatter. And I'm now I'm going to work my way up to my A string. Now my A string is perfect. So you see this says C sharp. We need a D string next. I'm going to work my way up to D. And you'll notice I move very slowly, very, very slowly. Clockwise is sharp, counterclockwise is flat. If the meter is going to the right, it's going to be sharp. And if the meter is going to the left, it's going to be flat. You want to stay within four cents of perfect. So let's do G next. I'm going to use my fine tuner for my E string. And then I'm going to check all my strings again. 